All of us are familiar with luminescent lamps, but few know their working principle. Let us look at the example of a standard connection scheme of the luminescent lamp. So, during the shortening of the switch, the hardly noticeable small joint charge appears within the starter, causing the electrodes in the starter to heat. One of the electrodes is bimetallic. When heating, it bends and touches the other electrodes. As a, res as a result, the current within the current circuit increases significantly, whereas the starter charge dies out. The increased current heats the electrodes of the luminescent lamp and they start extracting electrons. This is the preparation for switching the lamp. The electrodes of the starter cool down. The bimetallic plate straightens and a gap is formed between the two electrodes. The power of current within the circuit decreases sharply. In a short time, high voltage or self induction voltage appears in the throttle, hindering the reduction of the current. Together with the voltage, the self induction voltage creates the voltage impulse within the lamp, which is sufficient for the appearance of an electric charge in the gas first in, in argon and then up to the heating of the lamp in the mercury vapor. As the lamp burns, the voltage on its electrodes and on the electrodes of the starter connected parallel to the lamp is lower than the network voltage by the self-induction electromotor difference value, which appears in the throttle as the lamp is switched on. Thus, the designation of the throttle apart from switching on the luminescent lamp consists in hindering the limited current charge increase. In the absence of the throttle, the current increase would have caused the destruction of the lamp or the fusion of the safety device within the flat electric network. The condenser within the starter circuit serves to suppress the rate of hindrances. The C2 condenser serves to increase the coefficient of efficiency.